All right. Car, shut the fuck up. So I woke up today. I, I went I went home last night. I was drunk as fuck. I was in the bed with Kayla. I wanted to fuck her, but I couldn't even think straight to fuck her, so I just passed out. I woke up. My head is fucking like, like that to me. Um... And yeah, that's pretty much what's going on with me right now. But um, yeah, so I, I like I want to like like tell the the people, and I I hope people can come to an understanding about the relationship with Kayla and I. It's just like at the end of the day, look, I'm young and she's she's young, and we have our own like lives sometimes, or whatever the case might be. So like. It, it, like this is the most committed relationship I've been into like every time a girl walks past by me or something like that They'll be like, oh, yeah, aren't you dating Kayla like like stuff like that you feel me? like Which is fine cuz I did that but I have no bait Which is fine cuz I did that um, It's just a lot of my shoulders that I'm dealing with in life I feel blessed. I feel happy. I feel like I feel great. I honestly feel great in life. I, I can't even complain. Um, one of these days I'm gonna have to uh, go away. Um, I got prescribed clonopins. Um, and I need to. I have to. Um, I have to get. I have to get help again. Um. I relapse. I'm in a good stage in life though, but I'm 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 like really happy. I financial wise, emotionally wise, friendships wise. Um I, I friendships is a little rocky. I'm, I'm meeting a little bit of fake people here and there, whatever the case might be, but like that's that's fine. Friendships are easy to cut off cuz I'm glad I don't put my full trust in people. Um you know, you live and you learn as a young person, and and that's that's me. I I was traumatized since I was like a little kid, so I, I I see people for what they are, and I don't put my full trust in everybody. But yeah, so it, it is what it is. Like I'm one of these days for a week, I'm just gonna have to spend like a lot, like a lot, like a good amount of money just for like a nice rehab, so I can go, so I go to a retreat and um, detox because the long-term goal is not to be on Klonopins. The reason why I take Klonopins is because I have anxiety that is really, really bad. Um, I have a lot of past trauma in life. I, you know, you can obviously tell, I don't really have to explain so much, but I went through a lot in life. Um, So you can tell that I went through a lot of life, obviously. Um, things don't just come easy. Things just don't come like like that, if you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, and, and, and yeah, but like, I, I you know, I, I try to make the best out of it. Let's put this bitch in the sports ball. Oh, I be, I be whipping. <laughs> uh, when I'm in the highway, I be whipping, baby. Who's calling me? It's Kayla. I be whipping. Hello? What's up? Um, I'm going to go pick up the two extra modems that I need for my backpack. Um, at McCartney's parents' house. And then I'm coming back. Uh, I don't know. I'm, you know I'll be whipping, but I'm, I'm going to see because there's fucking... I think I just ran into traffic right now as we speak. Okay, because Vicky wants, wanted to hang out, but look at, I want to spend time with you. Look at, look at and spend a lot of time with you recently. All right. Yeah, we, yeah, we can make it work. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do this quick. I, thank God I woke up early, though. Yeah, I went to um, my trainer. That's where I was at. I had 12. You went to your trainer, you said? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. All right, I guess I'll see you. So don't hang out with Vicky because you'll be back. No, you No, him? you could, you could. You can hang out with Vicky. I'm going to... It's going to take me about two hours, Kayla. That's, that's the problem. Okay, but can we, like, dedicate time yeah. for each other today? Yeah, yes, we can. I love you too. Alright, let me check.
try to cut up real quick. I drive quick. I make sure that I don't crash now. I'm multitasking camera work and fucking Benz AMG GT63, baby. Fucking top German engineer, whatever the fuck engineer it is, bitch. This fucking engine is amazing. Fucking track hot. No, I'm just kidding. I love track hot. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, my life's great. My life's great. Like that fucking old ass fucking faggot that we went to his house yesterday. Like, bro, you got like antiques, but they don't even drive, dude. Like, get the fuck out of here, dude. Like, you don't even get to enjoy it. Your boat doesn't even drive. I'm a young, rich, successful individual, and I worked fucking hard as fuck to get to it. And I did, and I, and I, and I did a lot of work towards it. Now, boom, moving to the topic, toxic. A lot of you guys be saying team toxic too. Let me show you. Let me show you how. Let me show you how rich I am. I just have hundreds laying around. I was kidding. <laughs> Anyways, no, but listen. <clears throat> let me let me explain to you why it's not team toxic. Back up a little bit. Oh, back here. Let me explain to you why it's not Team Toxic. It's not Team Toxic because um, Toxic doesn't respect me at all. Um, she likes cucks. I learned to believe that she likes to feel like she's the dominant one in a relationship. She does not like to be controlled in relationships. She likes to feel like she's the prettiest, the baddest shit in the whole entire world. There's nothing wrong with that. But she doesn't know how to turn it off. She, like me, I know how to flick it off. I like to think I'm the baddest shit in the world too. But the thing is, Toxic, you need to at least back it up, gal. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. Toxic is a great woman, don't get me wrong now, but... Ooh, I almost just crashed on that little bitch ass car now. Don't get me wrong, Toxic is a great girl. Great, great girl. Um. I should have merged into that fucking fast lane. I honestly looked at Toxic like she was my soulmate. She really proved me wrong, huh? She really did. She tried it. She not only, she not only got with, and I'm about to come to West Palm Beach, they're gonna come and set me up. <laughs> She's gonna be like, I'm, I'm gonna shut them up. I'm not talking shit, Toxic. Don't set me up. I don't wanna fucking die. <laughs> I got guns like the Navy SEAL, baby. But listen, look, Toxic is just not only got with my ex friend that is known as the most pussiest kid in West Palm Beach. Like, I, let me tell you, let me tell you about this kid. This kid literally ran. Okay, and I was me and my brother. We were known for going. We were known as the Venegas twins. Just being honest, I, I I should be knocking on wood. I do not want to get arrested in West Palm Beach. Holy fuck. I'm traumatized from West Palm. Okay, let's move from this bitch ass car. I want to speed so I get pulled over. No, but listen, no, realistically, bro, is this car gonna let me like. My exhaust a little bit sound a little bit lower. The exhaust is a little bit too loud. I know, I know you guys want to see a bit up. I'm still whipping, don't get me wrong, but the exhaust, I, I put it lower. You don't want to hear that V8 uh, by turbo just brown, brown all the time, you know what I'm saying? No, but listen, this kid was running from a ki another kid, and I know this because I went to jail the next week. He was running from another kid inside the detention center. Now, there's a difference. When you run from someone in real life, okay, sure. You can run from someone from real life. There's, okay, I've seen that happen. I have never seen somebody run around a whole day room, we you call it a day room, or a whole main pod, a pod, whatever you want to call it, a juvenile pod where you're running in circles while a kid is trying to chase and hit you. Until you let, and so you can let the correction officer break you guys up so you don't, the kid can't even hit you. One thing about me and one thing you cannot take is I've always had heart.
another thing, the second thing is not only that Fly has heart, Fly would actually fight. That's one thing about me. I'll, I will go in there and fight. Even if I think you can whoop my ass. I'm not the toughest man. I am not the biggest, baddest man. I am not the richest man. I'm not the best at everything. No, not at all. But one thing about me is I will go in there and fight. And did I win the majority of my fights in jail? Yeah. You want to know why? Because it's mind over matter. It doesn't... I was always the aggressor. I always came in and punched first. I never let someone come in and just sneak me. I would go inside. I would go in there and beat the fuck out of them. That was my mindset. I'm going to fucking kill you inside there. You understand what I'm saying? You want to go to the big stall? Because we call it big stall. You want to handle it. You want to go to far field? We go to far field. We can handle it. Or while you're brushing your fucking hair, I'm going to go in there and pop the fuck off of you. I never ran for someone. You have a problem with me? You know what I do? I buy my fucking teeth. Say it's getting hot here. Get my hair ready. Make sure my wrist is straight. Might go to the bathroom. Shadow box. Make sure I'm not I'm not dreaming fight. You know what a dream fight is? When you're just punching but you ain't really hitting. Like a lot of your girls be doing. So I be like, you know, shadow boxing and shit like that. And then I go in there and I go for the bait. And I beat the fuck out of him, guck him like a fish. I, f I don't fuck the one kid. This kid was, he used to do workout every single day. He said he he said he was gonna beat my ass. I just went inside the program. It's like a juvenile prison. I just went inside that program, that maximum security program, and I was getting tried by a bunch of black guys in there. And that little black kid said he was gonna beat my ass. And I'm the only light-skinned Hispanic kid in that fucking dorm. I said, you gonna beat what, nigga? I was scared as fuck. But that's when you learn when you're scared, man. It's called, it's called, it's that line in you. You understand what I'm saying? I let that line roar. That little baby, that little baby line. I let it roar. While I'm with, while I'm with a bunch of gorillas. You know what I'm saying? He said he was a hey, back to him. I was scared. I had, when I went in there, I had no heart. These kids are big as fuck. Why the fuck they feeding these fucking kids? They're feeding them star rice, the chicken, like all that shit. These little fucking, these little like, black kids, they're big as fuck, man. So, boom. I said, you gonna beat my ass in my head. He's, uh, he's gonna whoop me. He's gonna whoop me. They planned out a date and all. My heart, my heart is thumping. And I had no anxiety problems before I did drugs. This was when I went to a juvenile prison. I want you to remember this. I was not a pillhead, I was a weed head. So I didn't I didn't know I didn't have anxiety. I laughed at I used to laugh at people with mental illness. Cause there was kids in there with mental illness. And I used to laugh and I used to be like, yeah, bitch, I'm happy. Bitch, I'm in here and I'm still happy. I'm in prison, I'm still happy. I'm a juvenile prison, I'm still happy. My bad, not prison, juvenile prison, I'm still happy, bitch. Anyway, so he said he was gonna beat my ass from St. Pete, OTM, and he's an OTM gang member named Mozzie, known for stealing fucking Maseratis. Don't, but don't get shit twisted. This curly headed, light skinned Spanish kid that you see in the dorm, he had some priors on me. Talking about, I had robberies, burglaries, GTAs. I don't, I was a jack boy, I was no dope seller, homie. I was a jack boy. I, was, I came in and stole your shit, bitch. You had a blicky on next to me. I'll take that shit, fuck nigga. And if I wasn't taking it, my homies taking it, and they giving it to me because I was the main. I was the main one. Always been the main one. Me and my brother. Always been the main one. You got a problem with me? My homies crashing out behind me. I even turned down the exhaust and it still went low. So he said he was gonna beat my ass. He they made a day and everything. I said, say no more. My heart started thumping. I, started, I kept replaying in my head. I couldn't think further than that. Remember, when you're in jail, you're in a controlled environment. There's, It's not like out here. You're not running away. I can't go to a hotel room when someone's pressing me trying to fight me. I can't go hiding in my mom's fucking basement because someone's coming to come get me. You're in a controlled environment. You have a problem, you got to face your problems. And if you snitch, you got to deal with it 10 times harder, brother. And juvenile, there's no PC. And I still would have done no PC. The all, and I will admit, the only reason why, and Coda, you should be the same fucking way. 
you done PC. The only reason why I would do PC these days is one reason. I don't know who's against me. I'm not a regular civilian, and I don't know who's gonna come right behind me and fucking stab me up. I do not want to be poked up. I got a daughter to live, homie. I might go to population here and there. But yeah, I ain't, I'm not gonna, hey listen, we not gonna have no ties, homie. You not gonna put me in no gang, no nothing like that, brother. You ain't gonna put me in no no blood, no, no crib. So then I gotta fight the cribs, and then the cribs gotta come at me. Come on my throat and shit like that. I gotta deal with your little fucking hard work. Not your light work, nigga. Fuck you talking about. Especially with all the tattoos like that. That will choke me up, yoke me up, and tell me that they, they don't sell me for a dub. Fuck you talking about. But back then, I didn't do PC. I went to county when I was 18. For two, I search up two aggravated assaults with a firearm. And nigga, a nigga, a nigga in there said, What you went in there? You, they said, What you shot someone? I said, No, I pointed a gun. I pointed a gun on self defense. I beat charge. I'm talking about getting fought, bunch of Cubans and shit. Bunch of big ass black dudes and shit. Call me Triple Red and shit like that. Fuck, fuck you mean, nigga. So anyways, the gist said you wanna fight me. I said, alright, man, you can't replay my head. I was scared as shit, nigga. Fuck you talking about, brother. Fuck you talking about. This nigga been, he been in here. He's this dude. This nigga ate to me. You understand what I'm saying? I'm a baby lion. I I, I ain't prosper yet. I'm alone. I'm the lone wolf, you did. So I went in the bathroom. Nobody was talking to me that day. I guess because they thought I felt like I was getting picked on or something like that. All right, fuck them. Fame my mom. Listen, when it's when something's meant to be, someone something's meant to be. I'm not saying I'm tough. I ain't saying I'm tough. But I ain't no bitch now. And li listen, let me tell you something. There's there is certain gratitudes in life. Real, real recognize is real. And I'm real. I'm a dying breed. Okay. So I went in the bathroom and I shot a box. It was about almost like sleep time, night time, bedtime. He's brushing his waves. He had waves. I'll give it to him little bride waves and shit like that. He would do every day push ups and waves, push ups and waves, OTN shit, shit like that. Woo -woo -woo. Yeah, I heard he's a prisoner. I came out of the bathroom after I after I shut the box. I said, I got this. Hey, I don't know what happened. I blacked out. I just went in, punched him. I never seen a black kid have a black eye. I punched him. It was next to his bed while he was doing his waves. About to go to sleep. I punched him hard as fuck in front of everybody. I was hooked. I hit him right with, I don't even know how I hit him in the eye. I blacked out, I don't even know if I hit him hard. But all I know, he falls onto me. And while he falls onto me, I'm on his bed. No homo. I'm on his bed, he's punching me, I'm going like this. So he's hitting his his um, his um his mattress, his program mattress, I'm going this. Why he's hitting me? Boom, crash it off, just break it up. And that's how you get your face card up. By not being a bitch. It took one pop off. One pop off for that fuck nigga to set in stone and stop fucking playing with me because you think I'm something like you think I'm soft or something like that. You understand what I'm saying? It took one pop off. Every day you would scream out, retaliation is a must. Never retaliate. His OG came up to me, tried to jump me and said, why you why the fuck you pop off? I'm on the bike, I'm on the dog, shit. I, <laughs> I was already on demon mode. Once you pop off, you have their trying to rush you. Hit me, dude. Fuck you talking about. Hit me, dude. Ain't hit shit, dude. Fuck you talking about. But um, getting back to the to the story with with the toxic girl. Toxic don't know no better. I like a women of value, so toxic ain't gonna work out for me. It just, it ain't gonna cut out. Are we even in Palm Beach yet, man? Fuck. It ain't gonna work out. 